what is your favorite flavor of Oreo? Well, luckily you don't have to decide because today I'm gonna to show you how to make a giant single serving chocolate, birthday cake, and red velvet Oreo. So let's get baking. Previously on Bigger Boulder Baking, we have made giant versions of classic cookies like the best ever chocolate chip cookie, peanut butter and jelly, and many more. So I thought, why not make a giant version of a cookie that I love so much, which is an Oreo. We are gonna start out by making a traditional chocolate Oreo. Because this is a small cookie dough, you can mix it by hand in a medium sized bowl. Into your bowl, we're gonna add in our flour, cocoa powder, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then mix all of these ingredients together. Into our dry ingredients, we're going to add in our cold cubed butter. Now all we're going to do is rub this in until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. You can use your hands or you can use a fork. As you can see, after three or four minutes, this is what you'll end up with, little small pieces of butter all the way throughout. To this mix, we're going to add in our egg and that's what binds it all together to make a dough. Now just take your spatula and mix it all together. Once you mix in your egg with your spatula, go in with your hand and bring the dough together because it is a little bit dry. And there you have it quick and easy homemade Oreo cookie dough from scratch. Now I know it looks like a lot of dough, but we're going to take it, divide it in half, and put it on a baking tray. When you place them on the tray, give each cookie a lot of space because they do spread out quite a lot. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pat them down to three inches wide. So that will give you a lovely size cookie and also a nice thickness. When I was young in Ireland, you could not buy Oreos anywhere. You had to go to the United States to get them. So it's fantastic now that we can make them at home. Look at these guys. Look at our giant Oreo cookies. These are insane. We're gonna bake these guys off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for around 15 to 17 minutes. My timer just pinged and my whole kitchen smells like chocolate, so I'm pretty sure the cookie is done. My homemade Oreos came out perfectly. Look at all these lovely crinkles on the top. It looks like perfection. Once your giant Oreo cookies have cooled, we can fill them with buttercream frosting. I'm filling my cookies with my master recipe for vanilla buttercream frosting, which can be found on my website. Pipe your buttercream frosting to cover the base of your cookie. And if you're like me and like double stuffed, then just go nuts and add as much as you like. And then sandwich on top your other Oreo. Check this out, this is ridiculous, oh my gosh. Now this has to be the true definition of big and bold. And it weighs a ton. I might just have to share this with somebody. I would love to try this now, but I can't. I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna get started at our next cookie. Our next Oreo cookie is hands down my absolute favorite. It is a giant birthday cake Oreo. In a large bowl, add in your flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then mix really well together. To our dry ingredients, we're gonna add in our cold butter, and just like before, we're going to mix it in until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. When your butter is all rubbed in, it will look like this, nice and fine with little small chunks of butter. To this mix, we're going to add in our egg and vanilla extract, and then mix it all together. The recipe for these Oreos, along with tons more, can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, and I've also put up substitutes for eggs in these recipes. Once you've mixed in the egg, then go in with your hand and then pull all the cookie dough together. Okay, there you go. When it all comes together, you end up with a perfect vanilla cookie dough. Now, if you don't want to bake this off straight away, you can always pop it into the fridge or into the freezer and bake it off whenever you like. But now we're gonna divide this guy in two and place them on a baking tray. Place them on opposite sides of the baking tray and flatten them down to three inches. And there you have it, our birthday cake Oreos. Well, actually they're not birthday cake yet until we fill them. But for right now, we're gonna pop them into the oven. Our timer just went off, so let's check on our cookies. These cookies look and smell fantastic. They've got these beautiful crinkles on top, which mean they're soft in the middle and then crispy around the outside, which is the way I like my cookies. Once your cookies have cooled, they're ready to be frosted. I'm going to fill mine with my buttercream frosting that is loaded with sprinkles. Generously pipe your frosting all around the base of the cookie. And then when it's all covered, place the other cookie on top. My favorite part of this cookie is all the sprinkles and the frosting and the color. I just love it. Check that out, all of the sprinkles. Look at that cookie. Smells just like a birthday cake. Amazing. Hands down my favorite. It just looks and smells fantastic. Because birthday cake Oreo is my favorite, I want to break this open and give it a try. Just look at that. What a thing of beauty. I adore birthday cake anything. It smells like a birthday cake. It looks like a birthday cake. Tastes like birthday cake. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this bit because we've got another cookie to try. This next Oreo flavor was released last year as a special edition for Valentine's Day, but because it's so great, it's here to stay. It is red velvet Oreo. In your bowl, add in your flour, sugar, cocoa powder, 
cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then mix them all well together. Now into our dry ingredients, I'm gonna rub in my butter. The flavor of red velvet is actually predominantly cocoa, and then you add a little bit of spice, vanilla, and all of those combination of flavors make up red velvet. Once your butter is rubbed in, we're going to add in our wet ingredients. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix together the egg, red food dye, and vanilla extract, and mix all these together separately so they get nice and combined before we add them into the dry ingredients. Once you can see that your food dye is fully blended in, we're going to add that into our dry ingredients. If you want your mix to be a little bit redder, then feel free to add in more dye. And then just take your spatula and mix it all around. I love red velvet. I actually don't think there's a red velvet dessert that I don't like. And there you go. There is your red velvet Oreo dough. I can smell it from here and it smells amazing. We're going to divide this guy up into two cookies and put them on a baking tray. Now these guys are ready for the oven. My timer just went off, so I think my cookie is done. These cookies are amazing. Just look at how big they are. And they have all of these lovely crinkles on top. For our red velvet cookies, I'm going to fill them with my homemade cream cheese frosting because red velvet and cream cheese go so well together. This is a behemoth of a cookie, the ultimate red velvet Oreo. Just check that out. These cookies are fantastic when you don't want to make a whole batch, but you definitely want something big and bold just for yourself. Everyone has their own favorite flavor of Oreo, whether it's chocolate, red velvet, or birthday cake, you're definitely gonna find something you love here. Make sure you check out my other giant single serving cookie videos, and I'll see you back here next Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking. That probably is the size of my head, is it? <laughs>